The Ohio women's basketball team welcomed in 22nd ranked Notre Dame to the convo on Friday afternoon. It was a pretty close game throughout, but in the end, it was the Bobcats that came away with an upset win over the Fighting Irish, 86 to 85. Ohio got off to a quick start and it was the CC Hook show early on. Hooks gets a three pointer to drop. She actually scored Ohio's first seven points of the ball game. The start of a big day for Hooks. Later in the quarter, Ohio down three and Erica Johnson knots it back up. Ohio led by six after a quarter. Towards the end of the half, Ohio begins to create some separation. Johnson again knocks one down from deep. The start of a 7-0 run for the Bobcats heading into the half, and Ohio led by 11 at the break. In the second half, Ohio got into a bit of foul trouble and Notre Dame climbed back into it. Dara Mabry drops a three-pointer to bring it within four. The Fighting Irish ended up tying the game, and now at the end of the quarter, Mabry gets the friendly bounce off the rim to give the Irish the lead after three. Mabry led Notre Dame with 34 points. Now, the Fighting Irish led by as many as seven in the fourth, but Ohio never backed down. Erica Johnson drives and scores to give Ohio the lead right back, part of an 8-0 run. Johnson finished the day with 24 points. Notre Dame took a two-point lead into the final two minutes, but Gabby Burst gets this shot to fall to deadlock it back up at 81, and what a finish it was in Athens. Now with the game tied at 83, CC Hooks drives and banks one in to give Ohio the 85 to 83 lead with 50 seconds left. Hooks led the charge for Ohio with 32 points. Ohio is smelling an upset now. The Fighting Irish have one more chance down one, but can't get the shot off. Upset secured. Ohio 86, Notre Dame 85, a huge win for Bob Bolton's program. We don't get seven, eight, 10 chances to play a top 25 team. We give it one. Um, maybe two if West Virginia makes it in the top 25 by the end of the month. But um, so you got to seize that moment. And I'm just, I'm very proud of them for seizing that moment.